Have you ever been listening to a normal song and thought, I wish this normal song had 280 million notes and took up 1.1 terabytes of data and was literally unplayable on any computer? Of course, you're only human. MIDI is a shared digital language that allows electronic instruments to communicate with computers, invented in the 1980s to provide a technical standard in the burgeoning field of electronic music. Enabling the recording, editing, and playback of synthesizer performances in a process known as MIDI sequencing. MIDI used to sound like this. Now MIDI is literally at the core of all pop music. It's how keyboards and laptops and samplers make Katy Perry records. It's how your phone's ringtone works. It's how you use a tiny plastic guitar to play the guitar solo in Freebird on Expert. It's digital music air. It is everywhere. In professional studios, in home studios, in living rooms, for film music, for education, for games, and for karaoke. Black MIDI is a sequence MIDI file that is so dense with notes that it literally appears to be black. So instead of sounding like this, it sounds like this. Uploaded on February 6th, 2011, that piece of hypnotic mayhem from k, -K, -K, -K 1998 is the original Black MIDI. Although technically these files were being traded online as early as 2009, k, -K, -K, -K 1998 is an original Blacker. Because naturally this subculture has super cool lingo. These songs are created, or blacked, by initially layering multiple MIDI files on top of each other and then shortening all the notes, and then presumably sacrificing an animal to a long-dead pagan god. No one really knows what the secret sauce is, and the blackers are not eager to say. The visual side of black MIDI is as mesmerizing as the notes themselves, of which that song has 7.67 million. There's an element of technical braggadocio and one-upsmanship that's present not only in the number of notes, but the presentation. The description of that video reads, my graphics card has enough memory to run this without invisible notes. Why, why, why? Bullet hell. The most popular black and midis all originate with the Toho Project, a one-man enterprise that has somehow released 21 bullet hell games since 1996. The quintessential Japanese shoot 'em ups Toho games feature unending enemy fire and big tunes. That, for example, is a 2013 Toho game called Perfect Cherry Blossom. And this is Necrophantasia, a popular song from Perfect Cherry Blossom. In fact, the 10 largest black midis, according to the leaderboard at the Impossible Music Wiki, are all songs from Toho games. But it's YouTube, so of course someone did What Does the Fox Say? But in the end, the best part of every one of these songs is when the person's computer just fully gives up and barfs pure black. That was Jingle Bells. When Adrian Chen wrote about Black Mini for Gawker, he joked that we could expect Rihanna to be stealing from it inside of three months. What do you think? Could Black Mini have a weird mainstream crossover the way C-Punk did? Let us know in the comments and be sure to subscribe for new episodes of This Exists every week. Happy blacking.